What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. We're still in Mexico. This is day four. We got deer meat for dinner and Austin Croker over there in that boat. We're here we're like 50 miles from the dock that we left from this morning on this big ridge. We're going after hawkfish, pargo, yellowtail. It's slack tide, so we got to get in the water right now. Brothers, 25 pound doctor fish right here. A what? Doctor fish. Oh. Like, you'll see when I get it, they're the biggest you've ever seen. They're like those things that the Jamaicans love to make soup out. Kelly, there's a 15 pound trigger fish. looking I need to give you all this fish there's a big grouper right here there's a grouper right under the boat Woohoo! First, first nice sheep's head yesterday when I jumped in the water. Man, this is insane. You guys, this fishery, mind blowing. Got him. I went down two times and I've got two big fish. Hey, hold him up, Daniel. Yeah. Woo! That is a giant. <sighs> Let's get him off there.
size of that trigger fish. I just got some great footage of that hawk fish. Look at this thing. Woo! That's the best eating fish that swims, all I tell you, boys. Hey. Daniel, you the man. I can't explain it enough. <sighs> Crazy looking thing. Looks like some type of flex fish. There's a good anchor down there. You want it? Oh, yeah. Here. Look at that. Whoa, I have no tip. Let me see that. What is this? Part of the trigger fish family. Got a big anchor. This chain too. There's a piece of chain on it. You got the anchor right there. I'll yeah, look at that. but it's the chain. It's, it's, it's hooked up it's to it. It's not hung up. It's laying in his hand. No, it's in the rocks. Yo pienso que ya está suelto. Que se lo atoraron y lo dejaron ahí. Sí. 
Oh, that pelican's going for you, babe! Babe, a pelican! Your buddy. He tried to eat you. Get him, pelican. Get him. He tried to get your hand. He tried to get your hand. Hey, now we need the that one, but we got two of them. the day. Oh yeah. Daniel said, "Oh yeah." Oh yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Nice. I know my fat butt needs one more weight. I'm insanely buoyant in this water too. <laughs> you know what? We're not seeing big groupers no, no, and stuff. No, it's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. No, And I know they're happy. Oh yeah. Robert! Look at this thing! What is it? I don't know! But we're gonna eat it! All right, y'all, we're wrapping up an insane day of spearfishing, diving with seals. Kelly speared a big old halibut. Oh my God. Congratulations. Dude, we have just speechless. Right over there is where we were spearfishing. Right over here is where we just had some big rooster fish firing up. The one thing I wanted to touch on with Mexico, I feel safer here where I'm at. From the time I got off the airplane to right where I'm at now, which is a long way safer than I do at my own neighborhood. I haven't had one person look at me wrong. Everybody speaks with kindness, helps you. I cannot express it enough that the area in Mexico we're in is the safest place I've ever been, period. I know Mexico has a pretty bad rap. Not this place, not these guys. All right, we're about to clean this Zapatero. Is it muy bueno? Yeah. Oh boy, we might be in for a treat. Bueno este, este halibut, lenguado. So he's got Kelly's halibut in his hand. We're gonna cook momento, this señorita. and a piece of this giant trigger. Voy a traer un plato para ponerlo. Okay? Yeah, si. Sí. We're gonna cook a piece of this and this and this. We got Robert right behind us. We're about to throw down in the kitchen. I don't even know what we're getting into with this. They ain't never... As soon as I got in the water, this was the first style fish I saw with the big yellow tail. There's millions of them. I said, there's no way I'm leaving without that. Definitely never clean one. Robert hasn't either. And he's been all over the world and back. But with any fish, just start cleaning and it'll come to you. Robert showed me something. These things right there are sharp, sharp, sharp. Actually, Robert, tell them about what did you say about these in Rota and Saipan? So yeah, in the CNMI where we were this summer, you see thousands of them, but they're only about that big. Uh, it's amazing. That, that literally, they might be one-tenth that size, but it's one of the favorite fish that they eat there. They cook them whole and eat them with chopsticks, and uh, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I know and my buddies from Jamaica always ask me for this style of fish. We call them doctor fish. The meat looks good, I can already tell you that. And I think the key is just having good fresh fish. Sometimes we get spoiled. Oh, you know what I caught today on a paddle tail? What? A big old um, hound fish. <laughs> I, I, got, I got it in my hands on camera, but I didn't have a camera filming me. I saw them in the water swimming. That's pretty much it. Just knock the sides off of it. It's not your best looking meat, but it's definitely not bad. I think it it's fine. way it's better, fish. way better than what I expected. Doesn't smell good. Yeah, it smells funky. It smells like poop. Meat. Oh. Es que, es it smells que, like... Oh, yes. <laughs> es que come mucha este, la roca. Sí. Yeah, they eat the rocks. Yes. Same thing as in the CNMI. Yes. Sí, eat the sí, carroñero. Good thing we got Kelly Young here because she'll try anything. Just cut that little bit of a bloodline out. Man, those pin bones are in there. 
The cool thing about this is he has lobster traps, as, as you all have already seen in the lobster video. All these heads and carcasses will go into his traps and get turned right back into more income. So we got that. We're going to clean the other side of this, but not right now. Moving right along. You plan on going to shoot some of these, don't you? Yeah. yeah. These are those. Muy bueno. Very good. Muy bueno. Yeah, everybody knows. No I'll much. never forget on your video, PK from Rota cooked these. No más que carne. Give me that five inch. Carne. Right carne. Amigo, es más rojo. Yeah, see. So the cool thing about this kit, you get the nine inch, seven inch, and five inch. This five inch is good for these fish that have, everybody thinks trigger fish are super hard to clean. They're not if you know where to put the knife. Right along their fins is soft. Just stick it in there. You always gotta cut from the inside out. Yeah. It does get a hair tricky right here. Watch your fingers back up a little. A lot of blood in this fish. That's what he was just yeah, saying. Yeah, that's what he just said. He was saying it's more rojo. It's more red. Hey, rojo. Mas rojo. Mas rojo. But you see how I just cut through that like butter? It is because the knife's sharp, but that's not all of it. It's about where I put the knife. The reason I use this five inch is because it's got a shorter blade and I can put a lot of pressure behind it. That wasn't hard at all. Take this little bit of blood right here, trim it off. Actually, I'm gonna switch it up. Easy peasy. Look at that. Bueno? It's bueno. Hey. It's father approved. I feel like he's one of oh. my dads. Bueno. Much better. Yeah. Let me see this. Yes. Back in the old days, they would take this, they would dry it out and use it to sharpen knives. Mm. Hold that GoPro real quick. Film Kelly. Mm -hmm. Smell the difference. Wow. Smells like poop. Yeah. Yeah, it does. This it right like here sewage. smells like poop. Yes. Wait, hold on. It's malo. Stop it. Oh, no, no, señorita. Yeah, it's, it does. It smells like parrotfish poop. Langosta eat this? Yes. Good. You know what we're going to do right now? We're going to put this in the traps for lobster. We're going to catch more lobster with this. I don't even think we're going to eat it because we got so much good fish. Definitely not wasting it, though. Because Pops here makes a living catching lobster and they need all the bait they can get because they don't fish very much. We'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, so we're doing things a little bit different. You've seen us catch it, spear it, clean it, but you're not going to see us cook it. Chef's cooking it back there. And you'll know what we're getting when we know. When we're sitting at the table, ain't that right? Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm trying to call Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to call mine because she's right there. Where we were at, 50 miles that away in the middle of nowhere I had perfect cell phone service but here near a little bit of civilization I have none let me introduce to y'all Pacho <laughs> Pacho Pacho is taking us tomorrow to go after how do you say octopus yes halibut octopus and uh, scallop I love Pacho <laughs> all right so all they did is took the fish just garlic and butter these beans though remind me of my mom's like butter beans the beans you cook with like a ham hock and cornbread i don't like reed fried beans at all but last night daniel the guy we've been on his boat the last two days says you got to try these beans they're the best there are i tried them and it's like the best southern made beans i've ever had in my life Rapate. You gonna try it? I'm about to. 
Yeah. That's just plain butter and garlic, right? Mm -hmm. Was it bueno? It's muy bueno? We had no idea how they were gonna make it. Kelly said she wanted just some plain, healthy style fish. A little bit of butter, a little bit of garlic. Came out great. Robert loves it. Kelly loves it. It's really good. Fresh good. local made tortillas. Woo! And you know this, man. That's the end of this video. Got more to come. Make sure you check out Deer Meat for Dinner if you haven't already obviously checked him out. He's going to have some insane shows. Marl and the whatever. I'll leave it at that. Only little tip. He's caught a big marlin. But like Jake always says, it's time to get up out of here and get that heck out of shape.